Marks, my boy. Me and him at SIU was, you know, a duo for sure. He was a do it all. He led us in points, rebound, assist. Without SIU, we wouldn't be where we are. At Purdue, it was a fun game. Marcus DeMass, Lance Jones, they were four year teammates together at Southern Illinois. Playing against Lance. We had played so many games with each other and rooted for each other for so long, so going against each other was definitely different. We were trash talking a lot about kind of personal stuff that only we knew what each other was talking about where nobody else could really tell what we were talking about. It was just a fun moment. Marcus, he was a guy that had scored 1,600 points. He knew how to do it. He's never been afraid of being the alpha. He's never been afraid of being the guy. My breakout game was against FAU in the Garden. Hawkins with a size advantage, kicks it out. The mask wide open for three, and he knocks it down. The way that the ball felt in my hands and how I felt in the court, I felt a lot more comfortable than I had in the past games. Everything just kind of clicked. The biggest stage in the greatest building that we play basketball in, Madison Square Garden, against the Final Four team. Marcus DeMass. And it was just his game. He dominated the game. DeMass, unstoppable tonight. The back down. Wow, he's just making it look easy. From then, he's just been off and running. On the step through, DeMass wants another. It's there! We do have developing news from Champaign as the Illini have suspended all everything guard Terran Shannon indefinitely from all team related activities. When Terrence was gone, I felt like my role changed a little bit. I was more of a creator. You know, I just had to had to make some more plays. They're just letting Marcus DeMass play his game, find what he wants, get to that right hand and do his thing. He stepped up into that role and didn't blink. There's a lot of people who can't do that. They can't shoulder that burden of being the guy. We didn't miss a beat. With TJ coming back, the ball is gonna be in my hands a little bit less and I wouldn't have to play make as much. So I kind of had to find that balance of deferring but being aggressive when it was my chance. From a mental side of things, the game is very slow for him. He's been able to take all of that in. He's one of the best players here in the Big Ten. I just need to make the first one. Ah! Four hours in the car. No, I don't want to hear an excuse. My dad was coaching me probably before I knew what basketball was. I'd always kind of been around the gym with him, just being around with eyes on me, and kind of teaching me. My ball. That's the rule. <laughs> Get out of here. He did a really good job of balancing that father-coach relationship. You're not getting the ball back now. I coached Marcus through all of his elementary and club years, and I coached them all through high school. When I built my house, I took part of my basement and dug it two stories deep, and we have a little mini gym down there, and him just playing with his older brother. I have a lot of memories of that. He was in the gym a lot. Oh, cross him! Hey, just takes him to the rack! I never had to ask him, or it was never a for situation, he just wanted to be there, wanted to be there, and, and always had a good time. I'm going with a jump hook to start from the free throw line. <laughs> good luck. I felt like he did a really good job of treating me the same as everybody else. Does that count as a jump hook? I'm gonna give it to you. All of our kids played high school. Um, our oldest, Morgan, went to UW-Madison. She actually played on their club team. Mason went to Winona State. He played basketball there. Maya played basketball at UW at Platteville. 
I honestly never really talk basketball with them for the most part. I'm probably their biggest cheerleader. Since I've been retired, I've been able to make it to every game this season. My goal is to have a perfect attendance this whole year. That's a letter. Chalk it up. Were you in bounds or out of bounds? I don't even know. He really sits back and just watches and enjoys. And that's what I'm most thankful for, is that he's not one of the parents that just wants me to score and doesn't care about anything else. Put a little pressure on you. It's a shot you never take. He wants our team to win because he knows that the winning is what really matters. It's because it's a deep two. Deep two, that's the shots that you, you guys are willing to give up in this program. It's just a common bond that we'll always have. That's it. That's game. <laughs> it's over.